tickets for only $19.99. Have a so good holiday. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Lisa Campos, Community Affairs Director with your Positively Tampa Bay. Throughout the month, we've been highlighting different toy drives and programs to help needy families this holiday season. The Salvation Army, Metropolitan Ministries, Pinellas for Kids, Shoeboxes for Seniors, and a whole lot more. And the Cooks and Hills Toy Run is now in its 17th year. As you prepare to celebrate the holidays with your families, we thought it would be nice to introduce you to families who've been able to celebrate with their children thanks to the, to the generosity of our community. Here with more on the Cooks and Hills Toy Run, we welcome Sherry Brown and also Linda Martin, a veteran member of the team. Thank you so much for coming in. You know, so for privacy reasons, a lot of times our viewers don't hear what happens after the toys are distributed. You all had the toy run uh, earlier this month. Tell us how it went and share with us the reaction from folks as they're there with their families and their children getting the toys. We got kind of panicky at first because at 9 o'clock the rains came <laughs> and it's an outside event. Uh -huh. But within about 15 minutes, it stopped raining, and the sun came out, and our guardian angel was looking out for us again. Oh. Um, the event started at Veterans Park, and there we do an auction, uh, raffles, and at 1 o'clock we leave Veterans Park, right. and everybody heads over to Evans Park, which is off of Kingsway Road, and all the children are gathered out there. They're sitting on blankets. They're holding up signs with their names, their ages, uh -huh. and if they're boy or girl, 1.30, everybody gets there, and a quarter till 2, we start passing out presents. How many kids got presents this year? We had 500 kids and 60 special needs people out there receiving oh, gifts this year. Uh, there was about 2,700 people come out. Oh, gosh, that's it, great. It started out, it was a biker event, but now it's actually turned into a community family event. Uh -huh. So we had 2,700 people out there from all walks of life bringing out gifts. Linda, and you've seen that transformation over the years. You've been with Sherry and her husband from the beginning. Um, what's the response from families when they see you drive past with your motorcycle? How many toys are on your motorcycle? <laughs> well, we do a little bit of a run from one park to the uh -huh. other, so everyone gets to see all the bikes that are decorated. Mine has become a special project over the years. I started out when it was a smaller run than what it's become, but uh, I had a good pile of gifts on my bike the first year, <laughs> and then as the years went on, people started guessing how many gifts were on my bike. Uh, last year I had 138. This year I had 194 gifts oh. on a motorcycle, no trailer. That <laughs> is amazing. You all were nice enough to share with us some of the notes and the letters that folks gave you sent in after receiving their toys. And there's, there's one card that I'd like to share with our viewers. Um, this one, sh the, the mom writes, I want to say thank you for everything you've done for my family. It's been a true blessing. If it wasn't for my children, for you, my children honestly would not have a Merry Christmas. She goes on to write that she's had her eighth back surgery uh, last month and she's been in bad shape. And she says, and I appreciate it with all my heart. When you get a note like that, you really have to know that it's worth all of the trouble and all of the preparation that goes into it. It makes it worthwhile. Last year's event, um, we have a lot of Spanish families and we have a translator comes out and David was walking through the crowd and there was a young boy standing there holding a soccer ball crying and David walked up to the mother and asked what, what was wrong. She explained that the father had abandoned them a few months before. The boy had written a letter to Santa and been praying to Jesus every day that his three brothers and sisters would get something for Christmas that he really didn't need anything but if Jesus felt he was worth it that all he wanted was a soccer ball all four kids got about four or five gifts apiece and somebody walking through 450 kids handed this kid out of the blue a soccer ball and he broke down in tears Amazing. so you affect one person and that may change that person's life and that's what it's all about it's all about the kids well thank you for what you all are doing in our community and thank you for sharing your stories with us if you at home would like to learn more about the cooks and hills toy run it's never too late to learn more and how you can plug into the organization please visit them online at cooksandtoyrun.com or you can call them at 813 643